That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. In the 55 years since Neil Armstrong's small step, humanity has made many giant leaps. Applied science has made these extraordinary leaps possible. In the same time period, human choices continue cycles of destruction and misery. The gift of science has unlocked doors of knowledge enabling humanity to achieve many things except one our highest potential as a conscious and collaborative species. Why is it that we continue to leap forward technologically but stagnate socially, relationally, and ethically? History indicates there are two drivers of societal transformation, technologies and collective belief systems. Objective observation and analysis gave us tools and technologies that eventually birthed the rigors of the scientific method, utterly transforming life on Earth. Subjective experiences and the need to understand gave birth to philosophies, spiritual systems, and organized religions, with all their gifts and excesses. Today, science and spirituality are separated by a growing chasm. Science and its resulting technologies are driving exponential change across the globe. Simultaneously, the quality of human collective consciousness is showing itself demonstrably inadequate to handling the power of these technologies wisely. Our philosophies and spiritual systems seem unable to keep up. In many ways, science has become the new religion. Therefore, can science assist humanity in improving its quality of consciousness, its ethics, its values? Should it? Physics is the pinnacle science. It is the driver of what humanity believes possible. Physics not only tells us what is fundamentally real, the power of its ideas is demonstrated with convincing results. Since physics tells us what is real, what is it that physics holds as fundamental? Materialism and the belief that life is a mechanistic accident solely reducible to constituent parts. A cosmos devoid of inherent meaning where consciousness plays no central role. Materialism is a paradigm where matter matters most. Who controls and dominates the stuff of life wins. Feelings, values, ethics, and compassion are subjective, therefore not to be trusted, merely optional choices in a global culture where only measurable facts are valid. The present big picture of scientific materialism is not big enough to break our belief in the value of things over the value of life and the consciousness that animates the living world. But what if physics could break through to a new understanding of fundamental reality and change the story of why we are here and what this cosmos is all about? What if matter is not so fundamental after all? The geniuses who ushered in the quantum age agreed that the fundamental structure of reality had something to do with information and consciousness.
individuals represent the best minds that birthed the quantum era, together creating an immense collective intelligence unmatched to this day. Exceptional brilliance typically accompanies a visionary big picture, and they correctly intuited the right answer. But they were unable to turn intuitive knowing into logical science. A different point of view was needed, a fundamental paradigm shift bigger than quantum mechanics itself. However, the key concept needed, the possibility of a computed reality stood nearly seven decades in the future. In those intervening years, the principle of physicalism tightened its grip on the field of physics, with applications of quantum principles yielding stunning outcomes while the search to unravel the fundamental source of quantum weirdness withered under the weight of the materialist worldview. The iconoclastic ideas behind these quotes by the founding fathers of quantum physics are now seen by mainstream physicists as results of an overactive imagination. With the juiciest clue for why the universe exists erased from the equation and by suppressing questions about fundamental reality as too philosophical, post-war physicists have created an unquestioning orthodoxy that influences science to this day. Consider, with all our technologies and computational prowess, the greatest minds of the past 100 years could not put forward a cohesive theory for quantum effects. If this new theoretical perspective is so impossibly difficult to find, it must be totally novel and bizarre. And it must exist entirely outside of physicalism, because that is where physicists have been looking in vain for a century. Not only must it propose something utterly new, what if this novel theory of everything synthesized two of humanity's greatest knowledge streams, the objective and the subjective, united the polarity of physics and metaphysics, and offered a science so suffused with meaning it could ignite a cultural shift beyond our greatest scientific achievements thus far? Hi, my name is Thomas Campbell, and I am proposing just such a theory. The MBT theory assumes that consciousness is fundamental and everything else is derived from consciousness, including physics. It assumes that reality is information-based and that consciousness itself is an evolving information system. It poses our cosmos as a virtual reality simulation created and set running by an aware and evolving conscious information system. To what purpose? The positive evolution of the system itself, with you as a small but important player. Is this novel and bizarre enough to shake up our current paradigm? Can my theory resolve the outstanding paradoxes of quantum physics? And can it be tested? The answer is yes. A theory is good if it explains all known facts accurately predicts new facts, creates no more unknowns, and requires very few assumptions. This theory explains the source of fundamental physical parameters such as mass, space, and time, what preceded the Big Bang, the anthropic principle, and why the speed of light is a constant, as well as why tiny variations in the speed of light also occur. It explains particle tunneling, non-random biological mutation, chaos theory, the Fermi paradox, and the accelerating universe. It also provides insight into what are considered the mysteries of psi and consciousness, including life after death, why you have a purpose, and what that purpose is. MBT solves past and current paradoxes with no new paradoxes created. This fundamental foundational understanding requires neither physics nor math as a prerequisite. Foundations are usually simple, elegant, and straightforward. Complexity is then built upon them. When the foundation shifts, everything above it must shift as well. I am not alone in seeing the possibilities of a computed reality. 
100 years after the quantum breakthrough, science has used quantum mechanics to develop tools and technologies that are inspiring a new theory of reality in the minds of rule-breaking visionaries like myself. Today, a computed virtual cosmic reality is conceivable, and today, aspects of simulation theory are testable. In 2017, I published a peer-reviewed paper in the Journal of International Quantum Foundations, co-authored by a Caltech mathematician and a JPL physicist, presenting a set of quantum mechanics experiments that could provide initial evidence for my theory. These experiments are being conducted right now at two prestigious universities, and early results look promising. But don't believe me. Engage these ideas, question them, and apply the rigors of science to them. The truth is not a fragile thing. So far, no fundamental problem has been put forward that this theory cannot clearly solve. More importantly, it adds an aspect previously missing in all of our sciences. Meaning in a central valuation of ethics, feelings, compassion, and all the choices that we can subjectively make that improve quality of consciousness. Choices that are no longer merely optional and relatively invalid in a global culture of materialism, but now central choices in an evolving information system that favors ever lower states of entropy. This is the unification of science and consciousness, a synthesis of humanity's two greatest knowledge streams, and with it, a chance to discover what's possible when the discipline of science meets big picture reality. In 1969, we took a giant leap. Isn't it time we took a quantum leap?